Hallelujah. Romans 8.15 says, For the spirit which you have now received is not a spirit of slavery to put you once more in bondage to fear. But you have received a spirit of adoption which we cry, Abba Father. Father. War has always looked very far from home. It's always been something that we've watched on TV, but sad to say it's so near. It's really, really close to us. And uh, to think that last night we had close to 10,000 people and even more that didn't sleep in their homes, that are in the bushes, that are seeking for the security that we so had freely given to us in Cameroon and the peace that we have so enjoyed for such a long time. But at this point in time, it is not about who is wrong or who is right. It is about our brothers and our sisters who are out there, who are dying every single day, regardless of which party it is. These are God's precious children and that is the stand that we take. We are actually looking through God's eyes and we are going because we believe that this is what He wants us to do. Because He's not here on earth, but we are here and vessels. And like Esther, I stand to say at such a time like this, maybe this is why we were just born. And we can't sit quiet and think everything is okay. We are going to face the risk of going to Munyenge. I am so grateful to God for connecting me with Jessica and this wonderful vision. She had the courage to go all the way to Munyenge to see and to spend time with people who are actually in the bushes right now. And we are joining forces with her to just go and worship God in that place. And we believe that in the presence of God, anything can happen. Because communities can be destroyed, but if the people are restored in hope, and if the people are told of the love of God, then they can be strong and stand strong to build their communities again. Because we believe the nation is not a territory, but it is a people. And that is the hope that we have for Munyenge. We're going back there to empower them, to just worship God with them. And we believe that in God's presence, anything can happen. That is the place where restoration is received. That is the place where hope is restored. And that is the place where we are going to understand what the people really need. And we would support them to rebuild their communities. So you can join us. You can join us and I'm sure that on your screen you can see how you can be a part of this wonderful opportunity. Many have asked where I stand concerning this um, crisis. From 2016, from my posts on Facebook, many people are like, where do you stand? On which side? And I... My perspective is God's perspective. I stand on God's side because when He looks down on His children and these people, we who have been made in His image, black, white, and different races, we all carry His life in us because the life is in the blood. And as long as we have blood flowing in our, our veins, we are made in His image. And when He looks down, he doesn't see all the riches that we see. And so I stand on God's side. And what do you do as a father when you look down and see your children that are supposed to love each other as he has shown us, devouring each other and hating each other, killing each other? As a father, sometimes you might just cry if you see your children killing and fighting with each other. And you try to figure out where you feel as a father. But I assure you, God has not failed. He has shown us the way of love through Yeshua, sacrifice on the cross. And in these very crucial times that we face all over the world, and especially in Cameroon, I choose a side of love because that's the side God is on. And together with Doris, Helen Mugop, and all those that have partnered with us, to take this move to the bushes, to reach out with the love and the hope of Christ. We are going against the tides of the time. We are bringing hope against despair. We are bringing peace against war. We are bringing love against hatred. And we are building against the destruction. Because none of these negative um, trends are from God. In fact, those are the works of the enemy, and we are going against that. And we want to call on everyone, every one of you that is watching, to please join us. And let us 
bring uh, the change that we want to see. The change that we want to see is not in the negative, it's in the positive. 